And I'm sorry that you kept on getting hurt because you couldn't tell me. That's okay. Will you do something for me? Okay. You promise that you will always tell me everything. And I promise that I'll always believe you. Deal? Deal. What's he doing? Oh, he's just turning his computer game off. <sighs> Probably should have made sure. Probably shouldn't have let him on it. Yeah, well, he's upset, isn't he? Yeah. And the rest of us aren't. Why didn't you tell me what was going on? Oh, you don't need that kind of problem. Yeah, well, I might have been able to help. How? Right, well, we won't know now, will we? All right, sorry. No. No, I am. Do you want a cup of tea? How's that going to help anything? I'm just asking if you want one. No, what I want is for you to tell the truth. I want to hear the words. I'm not even going to promise that you're not going to be in trouble because you are and you deserve to be. He picked up the ship in the bottle. I didn't want him to, but I let him play with it and then I said I'd put it somewhere safe. But really, I just wanted it where he couldn't get it. And he asked for it again and I said, no, leave it. And then he started jumping and I said, pack it in. And the next thing I knew, he, he was climbing up for it and I didn't even touch him at all, I swear. Liar. I, why won't you believe because me? Because it's rubbish, isn't it? I know it, you know it, Archie knows it and I tell you what, I tell you who else knows it, and it breaks my heart, is your dad. Laurel. No, I've got nothing left. Nothing, nothing on this earth that is getting through to you. So you, you just know that your dad has been ashamed of you since the first day you were Archie. Or maybe you should go and talk to him about it. Obviously, you have to be dead first. Hopefully that'll be soon. Then he calls and this copper comes out. And the one that pulled you over? Starts to list all the other people he owns. And bluffing. Do you think I'd be sat here right now like this if I, if I thought it was bluffing? No. I suppose you must be scared if you're blabbing all this to me. I didn't say I was scared. So what are you then? I'm in over my head. <sighs> Will told me that he was bad news. I didn't listen, my stupid ego kicked in. You told Will? Yeah. Will's known Malone for years. That gun, he had, it was, it was his. I'm guessing that gun could tell a few tales, grim ones. Which is why he's out for Will, and now me. So what are you going to do about it? So that's it, then. All I've known about you since I came here was you were the type of person that got things sorted. What I heard was when Jason came for Aaron, he came to kill him, and he more or less done it. Knocked seven shades out of him. He had a knife, is that right? And in you came. Half his size, twice his age. And he could have had you if he had the ball. But you faced him down from what I've heard, yeah? It's your story. Yeah, you did. You've got bottle. And you've got bottle to spare. Yeah, well, maybe I've just run out. <sighs> you just had a confidence knock, that's all. But you're not the type of person who gets bettered by some bent copper no matter how many friends he's got, are you? Like, he's threatened your family. I know what he's done. I'll ask you again. What are you going to do about it? I'm not going to get better by some Ben Copper. Whatever it takes. However much he has to suffer. 